Welcome to this interactive podcast on myotomes of the arms and legs. There are three parts to the video. The first part is a demonstration of the various movements of the arms and legs. The relevant route will be um, mentioned. Second part is a test. You'll need a pen or pencil and a piece of paper to write down the answers to this. And then the third part is the answers. It's important in order to maximise the learning opportunity from this video to only go on to the next section if you've understood the one that you've just done. So if you've seen the demonstration but cannot remember the routes, don't go on to the test. And similarly, if you've done the test and then can't quite work out all the answers, go back and do the test again before proceeding to the actual answer section. I'm a great believer in interactive teaching. I think if you get up and do, you will remember. I think if you sit there and watch, a bit like the kitten, you'll probably gradually fall asleep. So during the teaching part, when I'm demonstrating the movements and saying the roots, get up, say them and copy. So who would you want to do these video cast of the actual movement? I thought somebody like Arnie, somebody who looks like Arnie will look good working out, but who do you talk to to get hold of somebody like him? You're talking to me? Now I'm trying to talk to him. Hey, Arnie, Arnie, over here. Hey, hi, do you want to be in my podcast? Bit of sort of working out, bit of standing looking good. Here you got things aren't a bit busy. Okay, then no problems. What was that you said? I'll be back. So, Harney, hopefully popping up later on. That's good. So, let's go. So, hopefully, you're standing up. Copy the actions. Repeat the roots as I say them. So, shoulder shrugging, C4. Shoulder shrugging, C4. Arm abduction, C5-6, adduction, C7-8. Abduction, 5-6, adduction, C7-8. Then move on to the elbows, flexion, 5-6, extension, 7-8, 5-6, Six, seven, eight. Now wrist flexion, six, seven. Some books say seven, eight, but for the purpose of this, we'll take this as six, seven. So wrist flexion and extension, C, six, seven. Finger flexion and extension, C, seven, eight. C, seven, eight. I hope you are standing up. I hope you are joining in and repeating the words. It's the best way to use this podcast. So come with me and then use it this way. Last one, finger abduction and adduction, T1, T1. That's good. Quite a lot to remember there. So this is the easy way. Five fingers out. Arm up to give your friend a high five. Arm abduction, C5. Fingers out, give yourself a high five. Elbow flexion, C5. Okay. Hot down the beach, somebody throws you a can, a can of 7-up. You pull up the ring tab. The action of pulling up the wrist is 7-up. So wrist extension flexion is 7. And then finger adduction, Doing a Mr. Spock, there is only one Spock, so it's T1. Hope that's clear. On to the legs now. Hip flexion is L2, 3, and extension is 4, 5. So L2, 3, and 4, 5. The knee extension is 3, 4, flexion 5. S1, 3, 4, 5, 1. Foot coming up is L4, foot going down is S1. So dorsiflexion, L4, plantar flexion, S1. Toes wiggling is sort of L5, S1, S2 region. Now is there an easy way to remember the leg as there is in the arm? Well there is and it's 
pivot, so I'm thinking of the knee going forward as L3. So think of the knee kicking forward with L3, so L3 kicks the knee. So L3 kicks the knee as shown. Now the hip's one level above the knee, so that's one level above in the spine, so the hip coming forwards is L2. Knee forwards is L3. Foot up, L4. Toes wiggling, 5. Foot down is S1. The roots obviously go down from S1 down to um, S5. And the lower roots evolved in things like rectal and anal tone. I couldn't think of a way of demonstrating that on video. It's not a way which wouldn't get me banned from teaching medical students and a visit to the GMC for poor professionalism. So in the test, there's an example of dysfunction rather than function. So at this point, we've gone through the demonstration video. If you're not clear on the movements or the roots, stop this and run back before you go on to the test again. Get the maximum benefit from this.